Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to this episode of Cup TV, brought to you by www.craftshoeprint.com. In this episode, we're going to look at a gorgeous kit from Carol Clark. The cup number is Cup 9830930 underscore 359. And it's called the 3D Triangle Shadow Box Scenic Card Kit. And it's the cute little unicorn rainbow. You get seven sheets in the kit, including the envelope, and there are instructions as well. I'd like to run through what you get in the kit, and then I'd like to make the card to show you how it all goes together. Now, the first sheet that you get in the kit is all the sentiments and some little embellishments that you can add, whether it's to the inside of the card or the outside. The second sheet and the third sheet are both the envelope that you're going to make for the card. It fully matches for the card to go in. Now the next sheet, I think we're all upside down there. The next sheet is the front layer of your triangle scenic shadow box card. Then we have the middle layer of the scenic card. This is the back of the scenic card. It will all become apparent as we make it. And then this is the outside card. So first I want to take you through the sheets as they've been cut out. This is the outside that the card is going to fit into. So you cut this out and score it and fold it into a card shape. Next we take the three sheets to make the actual card itself and we cut them out and then we fold it, score it and fold it in the middle. Carol has included instructions. Next the middle sheet we cut that out and then we cut out the section, the white section in the middle with the little extra butterflies and the ladybirds. Cut that out until it looks like that. And then the next sheet with the unicorn, we cut that out and we cut away the actual background behind the unicorn. So again, the white area with all the hats and the butterflies and the ladybirds on. So it will look like this. You will have three sheets and the card. Okay. Now what happens is you're going to take the back of the card and then the middle sheet with the rainbows on. You've scored and folded the edges. Now I've got red tape on mine, so it's just going to take a minute to release the tape. I've already folded mine, and these are going to fold around the edge of the back of the card. So I'm marrying the two joins up, the edge of the card, where it's folded to the seam with the tape on and then I'm going to do roughly the same at the other side. Now as we go through you'll notice this is slightly narrower, narrower in size so it's going to just sit nicely round the edge but you're going to start to get a gap in the middle. So don't panic, that's how it's supposed to be. Our next layer is again the same. We've scored and added tape onto the edges and then we're going to add whoops, the edges again onto the card. Just check we're all the right way around. And I'm just simply adding the edge to the fold and then folding over that edge where the tape was 
using my bone folder to press it down and then we can do the last edge of the front peel the tape away and again just push the edge of the card to where it's scored and folded and then fold over the edge with the tape on and you will have something that looks like this so it will have the gap in the middle and where you've scored the centres you'll see that it will fold together now this is where the front of the card comes in where I've cut it out and scored it inside I've added flat tape to the card and I found this was for filming the easiest way to put the card inside so I'm taking my unicorn card I'm folding it together and I'm just simply going to position it inside the card and press that down like that and then I can take the tape away from the other side of the card and then bring that over and press it down and that is our card finished now I know it's very difficult to see as it's stood up because we're looking downwards but what a beautiful card and that's our front and that's our back so you can add your birthday message underneath you can add extra sentiments and embellishments to the front of the card I've got I've just taken a rainbow and a star so we can add that just on 3d foam and I can add birthday girl these were included in the actual kit and the envelopes are included to match it's a beautiful card stands up perfectly and it looks great something very different so you can check any of Carol's designs looking for Carol Clark on Craft Shoe Print and I just want to remind you of the cup number for this kit it's cup 983093 underscore 359 so I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and we shall see you next time.